Hi, I'm Dave Strand. Everybody knows I run the best asphalt seal coating company on the planet. We're usually on big projects like this church, but today I'm going to take you to a residential driveway and show you how you can save big money by seal coating your own driveway. Today we're on a residential driveway. I am going to show you step by step how to seal coat your own driveway and save some money. The very first thing we do is trim the grass that is growing over the edges of the driveway and for that we just use a weed whip. The next thing we do is clean the vegetation out of the cracks and for that we'll just use our weed whip. The next step is to blow off the driveway and get the debris off the driveway. You probably don't have a 13 horsepower Billy Goat blower, but a handheld blower designed for residential use will be just as good. This next step is very critical. Asphalt sealer will not bond to dirt. And as you can see, we couldn't get all the dirt off the driveway by just blowing it. So we're going to have to power wash this one. Now, you probably don't have your own power wash truck like I do, but a good residential power wash will, will work just fine. We blew this driveway off with a 13 horsepower Billy Goat blower and it still isn't clean enough for seal coating. After power washing, you can see how much dirt has collected in this water. It's very, very important that you get the driveway as clean as you can because asphalt sealer won't bond to a dirty surface. The next thing you're going to want to do is let the driveway thoroughly dry. Just walk away from it for a couple hours. After the driveway has thoroughly dried, the next step is to fill the cracks. Now you probably don't have a hot rubber bander like I have, but a good quality crack filler, this one's from Home Depot, will do just fine. That should be good. The next step is to choose a good quality rubberized asphalt sealer. You can find these in most home stores or good hardware stores. Asphalt sealer is messy. You're going to want to wear a pair of rubber boots or maybe an old pair of tennis shoes you can just throw away. Now that the driveway is thoroughly cleaned, the cracks are filled, it's time to start sealing. The first thing we do is we cut the edges in with a soft bristled brush. Just like that, nice and neat. Don't get any sealer on anything it doesn't belong on. Now it's time to start sealing the driveway. We're just going to use this 12 inch squeegee I bought at Home Depot. Now we're going to pour two or three gallons of sealer on the asphalt pavement and spread it out with our squeegee. This is very crucial that you push the material up and pull it back, making sure that all of the crevices are filled. I usually go up and down the driveway at least three times.
at the end of the driveway, we'll just run the opposite way so that we don't get any sealer out in the road. Now we'll just finish the driveway off with our cotton brush. Nice, neat, clean, even lines. Make the job look neat. That's how you homeowners can get professional results at approximately half the cost. I've got 15 gallons of sealer on this at $3 a gallon and a $15 squeegee. This actually cost me about $60 to do, and my estimate for this homeowner was $135. Nice job, Dave. Thank you, Mrs. Carl.